Hundreds of firefighters and rescue teams traveled to the Florida Keys to assist in the recovery efforts there, and they left their families to help the most vulnerable and needy in our community. Some of those for local first responders returned back to South Florida today, and CBS 4's Vanessa Borges is here now with the story. Vanessa. Rick and Ruta Bay, Miami Dade Fire Rescue, City of Miami Fire Rescue, and Florida Search and Rescue came back home today after days of grueling recovery missions. Their return was a celebration of what was the end of a long week, not just for them, but for their families as well. A welcomed sight and sound. Family and friends cheering the parade of fire rescue trucks and emergency vehicles returning to South Florida. And the trucks cheered back. <laughs> the men and women on board, the firefighters and rescue teams who spent this week helping those affected by Hurricane Irma in the Florida Keys. Assistant Fire Chief Scott Dean from Florida Urban Search and Rescue was part of the team that helped to find survivors in Key West. Looking for anybody that was trapped or missing and get them, identify them, get them out, and get them the care that they needed. After a week of anxiety, a week of cleanup, little sleep, and no power, firefighters returning home was an overwhelming sight for some. Thank you! These men and women were in the Keys helping families. Sometimes we forget they too are husbands and wives. Fathers and mothers. It was very hard on this one because obviously they had uh, their own impacts here at home and still had to leave their house and their families to go do a mission. So uh, I'm very proud of this group today. Some members of the rescue team were four legged. Six search and rescue dogs were sent to find anyone trapped and anyone who didn't survive Irma's deadly wrath. The canine search team and the human team all made sacrifices, part of their call to duty, ensuring our safety before their own. At times like that, when you, when you see so much destruction, you want to be with your family and your loved ones. And uh, I'm just happy to be home. You know, it was not that long, but it was long enough to you know, miss your loved ones. Thankfully, those six rescue dogs did not find anyone trapped or deceased. Survivors were already being treated or had been taken to a shelter. And we want to take the moment to thank all the first responders, firefighters, police officers, rescue crews for all your hard work and for your family sacrifice. We thank you. Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News Tonight.